Hi everyone. Welcome to a quick and easy painting of an angel on canvas. Uh, so I'm just using the uh, primary colors, uh, blue, yellow, red, white, and black. And I'm just using some simple brushes, uh, half an inch. Uh, I think even a full inch and uh, just a detailing brush, uh, whatever's comfortable for you. So I'm just grabbing some blues and whites and I'm blending it real quickly on the canvas. It's uh, going on wet on wet, so I'm trying to create just a just a background, some with lights and darks, blues, mixing in some yellows and whites, um, and you'll see me building it up as I as I go. Um, I do tend to change my mind a little bit as I go, so I I might end up. To, adding some blacks and uh, uh, building it up even more and hoping to get a little bit more yellow in there. So this is uh, just basically a crisscross action with my brush. I am using student quality uh, paints. Um, they're Sargent acrylic paints that I get on Amazon. Uh, it's inexpensive to use, but the coverage uh, isn't too bad. Uh, sometimes I have to do multiple layers just to get a really good uh, coverage on the canvas. If you um, pre-paint the canvas with maybe white or even just a soft blue or something like that, the painted would, would adhere a little bit more um, to the canvas. So here I'm just, I'm still, it's wet on wet and I'm just adding and building it up. Adding some darks, just straight blue. I'm just adding some darks. Um, I do go in a little bit with blue and black. Uh, get some dark happening in the corners here. So it's really hard um, to add yellow when it's wet on wet because of, of course, yellow and blue makes green. So you'll start to see um, that I'm trying to get it lighter in a certain areas. Uh, but I'm going to have to wait until it dries a little bit and then I will soft softly do a dry brush area of some yellows to highlight it. Uh, I did try a little bit of black in that upper corner uh, with some blues. I'm probably going to go back in with some just straight blue and and get more of a deeper blue color in there so I'm just getting some shadows going in. And once you're happy with the background that's when we're going to start adding the angel. So here I'm still adding some yellows, uh, just building up my background canvas. You can just keep on adding color and just keep moving your brush in um, all kinds of different directions, just hashing it into each other. Uh, if you feel that you see some brush marks, uh, just uh, add a little bit of water to your brush and and do some blending. Uh, it does really work really well. I tend to like a little bit of brush strokes. It gives character into the painting. So now I'm just using straight white and I'm just doing some downward motions uh, coming down, giving it the illusion of the angel's um, body. Kind of making it look like a little bit of a feather feather like dress. And I'm gonna just add some wings with some white. Now of course remember this is the first coat, so it's not gonna be as brilliant as if you went in um a couple times. I did not wait for the background to dry so the white is kind of blending a little bit with the blue. And after I got my first part of the angel done I decided to add a little bit more yellow now that the background is dried a bit more. I really wanted to see some more lights and darks happening in the background. So I'm really just uh, dry brushing and blending real lightly. 
I'm just adding a little bit more blue just to blend it a little bit more in. It's okay to cover a part of your angel at this point because it's really just the start of the angel anyways and you're going to build that angel up. So. Having a real soft background like that, it's basically just dipping your brush um, with a little bit of paint on it and so it doesn't have a lot of globs on it and you're really just dry brushing and lightly and uh, until there's no paint left on your brush. That black just does not want to do anything for me. I, just, I struggled a little bit on that corner. I ended, ended up going straight blue. One of the nicest colors to use to darken some areas of a painting is sometimes I just add purple to my blues and uh, that gives me a nice deep, deeper blue um, shadow effect. But I didn't use the purple this time. So I'm actually uh, mixing uh, kind of a, a ready brown. Um, it's just a mixture of, of red, yellow, blue um, until I'm happy with the brown that I've gotten. And I'm just throwing a few little bits of the same color into the body of, of the angel and the wings um, just so that when I go over it again it kind of has a little bit of that color peeping through. So now I'm just going over a second time um, with some pure white uh, because the angel wings are drier now so it's going to be more brilliant. And I'm actually using the very fine part of the brush. I'm just coming out, leaving a little bit of the underlay showing through, not covering it completely. And leaving a little bit of that brown peeping through as well. And whisking it away so that it just kind of almost looks like feathers. I'm hoping it looks like feathers. And I'm going into the body again too. You can do this for quite some time until you decide what you like. I keep going into the background. I'm still struggling to get that yellow to pop. So I've got a little bit more dry brushing back on those spots. There's nothing wrong with deciding to add a little color here, a little color there. That's the whole idea of being interesting. I had no plans on what I was doing. I was just laying down color and seeing how it uh, appeared. And I'm only doing this because I'm waiting for those wings and the part of the angel to dry a little bit more so that I can go in a little bit more with some detailing because I really want some of the white to pop. I actually went above her head a little bit with a lighter bit of blue, um, kind of trying to get more of a, a glowing halo effect. And now I'm going to go into this for the third time just to really whiten up that angel in certain areas. This is where I kind of want to see some real detailed brush strokes.
And now I'm just highlighting her hair a little bit more. So just, so I'm actually making it a little bit light and then I'm probably going to add a little bit of black to it just to kind of give it some depth. Um, a solid, one solid color will, will just, it won't look right. You have to give it some variety of color. So I'm using a very fine brush here and uh, I'm just kind of uh, making some hairs with different, like, you know, individual hairs coming through. And something that you can keep going, keep adding different colors until you're happy with how her hair looks from the back. And I just add a little bit of white in the top there, just to give it a little bit of highlights. It's always good to step back, look at your painting, see where you think you're missing something. I'm pretty happy with this one. I maybe if I was to do this one again, might make her her wings look a lot larger, fill the canvas up a bit more. Um, but I, I actually like this one. This one here, I'm just now just putting in some white little bits just to kind of come out. You don't want to overwork her either. That's pretty much it. Sign your painting and let it dry. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.